Hey guys, welcome back to the backyard where we are going to do some testing on one of my prototype forestry bushcraft small axes here. So I'm next to the tree here. Well, we actually have a couple of trees, but down here in West Texas, trees are not as plentiful. But this particular one needs to go away because it's uh, dying and we need yard space. So uh, let me show you what we got here. So as part of our ongoing yard projects to try to improve whatever place we're currently living at, um, this tree is in the way, it's, it's dying. I was able to cut down, cut it down to the stump with a borrowed small chainsaw. But it's probably, it's a good 18 inches in diameter. So it'll be a great test for this ax here. Got my Idaho cup here. You know, this video might turn into a uh, chicken processing tutorial before we're done. I'm just trying to steal myself for the chopping here. Well, that came off pretty easy. Well, that is a workout, especially in the full sun here. Um, I'm definitely no expert when it comes to wielding an ax, but uh, I think so far this is demonstrating just what you can do with one of these small axes. This has a 25 inch handle on it, and it's still sharp, the edge is still keen. Chopped through about a third, I guess, of this uh, stump. Got a nice little uh, undercut in there. And uh, I'm going to keep hacking away at it here and see, see what our edge retention is like because that's, that's the reason that I, uh, one of the reasons I'm using 1060 on these axes to get a, uh, a better edge holding capability, you know, with a little bit more carbon in the steel. So we're going to continue on and see what we can do here. I'm just thinking about how much easier this would be if I could actually stand up. Um, it's all upper body, so um, definitely more of a workout because you can't really put your weight behind it like you could otherwise. But we're getting there. All right, we're getting close. My uh, Lines aren't completely straight here, but I think it'll come down just the same. Obviously, if this was a full-size tree, it'd, uh, it'd be coming down by now. All right. Okay, so now that we have this stump chopped down, um, we want to see what the edge holding uh, turned out to be. So um, it still feels sharp on the glove. Now, is it going to shave? Well, there is hair coming off. Um, I don't know if I would quite call that shaving, 
but it is taking hair off when it comes to cutting stuff, the twigs, it's still definitely has a good working edge on it. So this is obviously a green one, but you get the picture. It, uh, it still slices and dices. So you can go cook dinner with this now. Um, yeah, I think that is uh, pretty good. Still catches the fingernail. Oh yeah, it really, it doesn't really feel much different than when I started to be honest. Like I said, it's not, it's not what I would call shaving sharp. Uh, it's still taking hair off. I did not strop this either. I just uh, honed it on the Arkansas stone and uh, instead of stropping it like I would typically do uh, to, to maybe you know have a little more realistic not everybody's gonna have a strop out there but you're gonna have some kind of a stone you know so I'm happy with that um, it could keep chopping we could take down another couple trees I think and I will point out too that the bark on this is extremely abrasive because about half of West Texas has blown by it in you know all those uh, particles grit gets embedded in the bark and so you know that's why you'll see guys take the bark off of where they're actually going to cut a tree with their saw so that they don't run through a chain before they even uh, get into the wood so there's that too and it's uh, holding up like a champ so anyway I'm happy and uh, there's more to come so appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next video